Today we're gonna to take a look at Docker on the new M1 Max. Hey guys, good morning. Uh, so, I got a lot of feedback from my recent videos regarding some of the software engineering tests that I've been running on the M1 Max, and I really appreciate all the comments and, and feedback. One of the really cool things that I've liked about this laptop ever since I purchased it is that it seems to just take everything that I've thrown at it. I've now had it for 48 hours, and I've been able to fall back into my workflow without any interruptions. Um, my JVMs are running perfectly, Docker containers are working great, and app development is going really smoothly. But now it's time to get a little bit more scientific. Let's take a look at some benchmarks of how Docker itself compares across multiple MacBook Pro varieties. I'm really excited about the results and I can't wait to share them with you. All right, so this is the 2018 MacBook Pro. This has got the i5 in it, 16 gigs of RAM. All right, for all of these tests, I'm going to max out the total number of resources available. So on this machine, we only have four cores, so I'm only going to give it four CPUs. I'm going to give each of these tests the maximum amount of memory available on the machine. So for this one, I'm going to give it 16 because it's a 16 gig machine. For the swap, I'm going to give every single one of them two gigs, and then disk size, that's maxed out, they've got a, a ton of space. And we go ahead and apply and restart. So what we've done is we pulled down a server project that traditionally takes about 22 minutes to compile and run tests and everything on GCP. Uh, so right now we're going to do this on a local machine, and we're going to test it on an i5, i9, and an M1 Max. Okay, so our test is all set up. The way it's going to work is like this. I'm going to run the same build in a Docker container on three different devices. On GCP, this, this build typically takes about 20 minutes. So it's a pretty big project to compile and run tests on. What I've done to set up the test, I have maxed out the amount of resources uh, per machine. So for this i5 with a four core processor, it will be using four cores for the test. And I've maxed out the memory as well, 16 gigs. That's how much memory is available on this device. Each test will have two gigs in the swap. And of course, it'll have more than enough space to actually do, do the build and cache. So for this test, I think it's important to note each device is going to fully utilize the maximum number of cores available on that device and the maximum amount of memory available on that device. All right, so let's get started with our first test. I've got a simple Docker build script here uh, set to no cache. So it is going to build everything from, from scratch and let's get going. And because we're testing laptops, I thought it would be appropriate to test every single one of these on battery power alone. So in the midst of this build, we can see that Docker is using 40% of the system resources, but up here it says 150% of the CPU is being used. Docker is using up as much memory as we give it. I don't know if the mic has picked this up, but the fans are running at full blast right now and we are allocating using all of the available memory on the machine. And we're using all 16 gigs of memory on the machine. So as you can see here, we've started our tests now, they're finally running. Now compared to GCP, this is actually getting way more system resources, so I expect this to finish a lot faster than GCP. GCP's got one core, typically. All right, we are done. It finished in about six minutes on the i5 MacBook Pro with 16 gigs of memory. All right, so this is the 2019 i9. I've kicked it off with the same exact Docker settings as the M1 Max. It is 
crunching through, building everything as expected. Uh, hasn't gotten to unit tests yet, about to hit a minute. So looks like we're still installing Python dependencies at this time. All right, so we just hit the two and a half minute mark and we still have not started unit tests. They are currently spooling up. All right, that's promising. We're still running unit tests, but we've hit the three minute mark now. Three minutes is what it took on the M1 Max. This is the i9 Intel based. Still running tests. We haven't gotten through tests yet. Wow, I can't believe it. We're at the four minute mark and I still haven't seen any tests run yet. We're still in the process of building all the separate modules and jars so that we can run tests. All right, at this point, the fans have kicked on and the laptop has gotten very, very hot. We've hit the five minute mark, so there's still time to beat the i5. All right, that's it. The i9 completed the build, verification steps, unit tests, installations, and everything in just under six minutes, five minutes and 52 seconds. Now on the M1 Max, I ended up finding a bug with Docker. It appears that if I start trying to max out any one of these settings, uh, maxing out memory, changing CPUs, when it goes to restart, the Docker engine just keeps starting, stopping, starting, stopping. So I imagine it's crashing or getting stuck in some kind of weird loop. I'm gonna see if I can come up, get over this. All right, here we go. We're going to run the server project on the M1 Max. No cache. That way everything has to be built from scratch using the eight cores available because any higher than that, we saw the Docker bug where it would start, stop, start, stop over and over again. 32 gigs of RAM setting on Docker, even though this machine has 64. We couldn't go any higher than that. Again, it would start flaking out. Ready, set, go. Now the i5 took a little over six minutes to do this job. Hoping to see a drastic improvement on the M1 Max. Again, all the machines are running on battery power because they're laptops. Wanted to test without using power. Also, we noticed on the i5, the fans kicked in after about a minute. They started running at a pretty high speed. So we'll check to see if any fans kick up on this device. Okay, we're flying through tests, and we're at the halfway mark. Tests completed. Now we're doing a, uh, we're assembling the jar file here. Jars built, done. Three and a half minutes. I mean, that's almost twice as fast as the i5, and no fan noise, checking for heat real quick. Literally no heat. I mean, I, this thing would still be very comfortable in my lap right now. Man, okay, so what a series. I, I didn't have any trouble setting up Docker on any of these machines except for the M1 Max once I run into that bug because when you restart Docker, it takes forever to restart. But I figured it out. I think I think there's a bug with the number, the the max amount of cores and 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 memory that's allocated to the M1 Max chip. I'm sure the Docker team will address it and fix it really shortly. But um, you know, new hardware, new problems, right? But yeah, look, these these results are absolutely crazy. They blow me away. So coming in at last place, like we expected, the i5 completed the build verification steps and everything in six minutes and 16 seconds. Like not super accurate, but 
rough estimate, it took uh, just about six six minutes to to complete. Then in second place, the i9. I just these numbers are really blowing me away. So six minutes for the i5, almost six minutes for the i9. The i9 finished it in five minutes and 52 seconds. And then the M1 Max just screamed through this test with three minutes and 36 seconds. Again, this is the same, everything's the same. I maxed out as much as I could in Docker, the amount of cores, the amount of RAM, uh, I kept the swap space the same between all the different devices, but I wanted to fully utilize the cores for the building process. And I definitely saw some great improvements um, on the M1 Max, but I can't imagine how much faster this is gonna be when those last two cores are unlocked and whatnot for, for buildings. Like, I feel like the time for the M1 Max could be even faster once this bug is fixed. So. Really exciting results. Uh, this is a fun test to run. If you have any kind of other things that you want me to check out, leave a comment and uh, I'll see if I can get around to it. Really appreciate your time, guys. Thanks.